Good morning, Terry Hanthorne, High Brighton High School. Had the, uh, the thrill and luxury of being asked to teach uh, some world history classes uh, this semester for the first time. So that put me out on WebQuest and looking with, with all of the great materials that come with our text. Uh, those of you that teach world history know what I'm talking about. We're always searching for something uh, to help you along. I found this um, uh, activity. It's called Write Your Own Greek Myth. I'm going to get my copy real quick. The reason I like it. Uh, first time I used it, kids love it. I love it because it also fulfilled one of those cross-curricular demons uh, where I could get together with a communication skills English teacher uh, who was happened to be working on some of the same things at the same time. And um, he was able to, uh, John Dawson, you know John, he was able to come in and talk to some of the kids in uh, my classes you know, about what makes up a myth. Uh, they read some myths in their classes. Gives the kids the opportunity to read a little bit of myths on their own. Uh, there's four of them listed. Uh, what I'll do is go through and have them read some of the basic ones, Myth of the Seasons, uh, Myth of Fire, uh, Pandora, Creation of the First Woman, The Introduction of Evil, imagine that. I make my little boy read that one four or five times uh, a week. Uh, Narcissist and Echo. Uh, then we go through, we look at the myths, they get to decide which uh, hero they liked, god or goddess that they liked the most. Um, do a little research. Uh, this is something that also can be carried over into the computer lab find time uh, to get them in there. Uh, it's something that they can do some work at home on their own. Uh, their eventual goal, though, is to write their own myth. Uh, they have to take an event uh, that occurs in nature and put some sort of uh, reason to why their Greek god or goddess may have had something to do with that. And it's got some research uh, that goes with their god or goddess. They can do a little bit of individual work on their own to pull some things. Uh, on the time listed on the um, uh, on, the, on our chart here that we're keeping, I put one to two days, uh, but depending on how many steps you want to go, if you get down to the end where if you want to have each of your students read your myth out loud following the true myth tradition, uh, it might take a little bit longer than that. This is something you can videotape real nice. Do, you know, we're asked to do portfolio, document this, do this, and the kids love it. The kids love to get up uh, and talk. Most of them, you'll find one or two that don't, and I'm sure as professionals we can all find alternative ways that they can uh, take care of that for themselves. Um, uh, Pre-writing, just a little bit of guide. You can work again with your English teacher. Uh, they can help the kids maybe on some of the, you know, for me, I'm not an expert on writing of anything uh, from the lunch orders. And um, it gives them that little bit of exposure out to another teacher. You can share your excitement and the kids feed off on that. Um, takes care of your essential standard 2.9. Uh, the interesting thing was, as much as I like this, um, activity and thought that it was really good for the kids in world history and, and brought something uh, to them that they could present. It was real tough to find it in the new essential standards, uh, but I think if you dig in there anywhere, you can label something and put a number down and it's going to fit in. So uh, this will be available on there. Uh, there's also a rubric that goes along with it to help you score at the end. And like I said, it depends on how intense you want to get into it. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me, and that's it. Thank you.